function I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, everybody, we are on tape. We tape all of our meetings and we have new microphones, so we're probably going to get bumps and kicks <laughs> until we get used to them. Okay. Anybody have, have everybody have a chance to read the minutes from last week's meeting? The only thing that I uh, we did discuss a little bit, we agreed on giving uh, theater actors some, some money, but we didn't say uh, when that money was to be issued. Do you want to specify that? Um, we just ought to be specified that uh, when it starts and ends has not been determined yet. Uh, that's on the first La page. Second. Right above the report of elected officials on the second first page. There ought to be like a caveat there that saying that we haven't determined yet. Any additional way? I agree you haven't set a number. If you want what you budget. I'm sorry. Well, this is what Commissioner Hill said to be determined right on the right of the day. They agreed to it, but we're not saying the checks in the mail. But, you know. Well, none of, none of your appropriations are uh, binding until you actually appropriate the funds under Kansas Cash Basis Act. Okay. Other than that, I don't think that I've seen the might should have been added. I do the tip and it says, I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and seconded to accept the minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Passed 3 0. Uh, any of uh, committee reports? I had uh, adult corrections and everything's, I guess, going as, as good as could be expected. The uh, success. From, success Full rate was down, but uh, the administrator assured me that uh, they were, had more cases and they were one employee really short. And typically this year, this time of year is when it comes up, and it, that does affect the funding. She seen no problem. That's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. And I had no committee reports. Okay, let's go over here for. Did we change our public comment? Had been put up above last week and it already went changed back, didn't it? Yeah. So we could, we could change things. Hmm? I moved to move the public comment to um, just follow the. Well, I mean, and it was that way last week, but I see the, the way it was listed. I moved to make it the position of 5A. Between five and six. So we have any public comments we can hear them now. Do we have any public comments? <laughs> yeah, uh, Dr. Upper. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and fellow commissioners and everyone else here. I just, I'm here on two reasons. One, um, on November 17th, there's a meeting that's uh, set up uh, in Topeka. And I'm just looking to solicit one county commissioner to join me at that meeting. Um, you guys can talk amongst yourselves at a later time and figure out who you want to delegate that to. I probably shouldn't have two from the coma laws, but um, I just wanted to make sure that I formally uh, ask one of you to join me. Uh, the focus of the meeting is on bridges and to look at uh, methods of state legislation and or policy change that can allow us to have more funding for bridges in counties such as Atchison. Um, not trying to sound corny, but that's a bit of an uphill climb. It's a big bridge to get over, mm -hmm. but there uh, are some additional funds that should be available for that. And uh, I wanted to make you all aware of that and uh, see if I could solicit one of you to join me on November 17th at that meeting. It's going to be in the revisor's office at 1.30. Adam Sieber is putting it together. 
and we're going to have officials from KDOT and the KLRD there and myself and I'm trying to, uh, there's one local farmer that I think is real interested in this that I've spoken to that may join me and I'd like to have one of you join me there too and, and we can work out the details later if I find out which one of you wants to come. Okay. I would love to come, but right now I can't give you 100% because uh, I'm still in the harvest and weather coming. So I believe a lot of those will come. And, and uh, here's something that I may make note of. Here's some of the projects that we've already got planned if we bond some money out or if we get some, some more money from the state that uh, I believe the agreements have been done. Or are, are in the are process. Abundant. And then there's some yellow ones up there that we're proposing to do. And they haven't, he hasn't met with, got all of the ones looked at yet, so there's still maybe some more additions to that. And I believe the ones that we committed to was a million three that we were going to do. So of course, the idea being that these are ditches are sufficient, plus they're important for the harvest, for the goods and services to our federal farmers. And we have multi bridges we could do. So we're not out of project. We're just doing what we can afford at this point. And I appreciate your feedback on that. I, I'd gotten some preliminary information through your chairman and knew that this was really a, a significant issue. And that's why I've gone a little extra distance to try to set up something from a state level. Now that'll have to be open to all counties, but you know, it'll be prioritized and it'll probably be a grant type approach. I'm thinking. But there are some funds available to, to set aside for county bridge uh, issues, different than other programs that you currently uh, access funds through the state of Kansas. I but think if somebody brings it to the forefront, what you're going to do, you'll have other counties follow pursuit, and your fellow representatives will see the need for it, and hopefully maybe get something there. Well, the, I thank you very much. The idea is to have a hearing and to have opponents and proponents testify and, and figure out where we are monetarily. And I think, like all those things, it does take, it's a process, but I think funds can become uh, available. The other just thing, and this is just an announcement, uh, this Saturday I'm having a, a town hall, legislative coffee. Uh, it's just about talking about legislation that we passed at the state level, we'll talk about uh, taxes, we'll talk about school finance and anything else people want to talk about. So. That's down the chamber. That's at, that's at the Santa Fe Depot. Yeah. The Chamber of Commerce is sponsoring it. Nine o'clock this Saturday, November 4th. Well, John, either Eric or I'll attend with you. Yeah. We'll come back to, yeah. one of us will be there. And, I really appreciate uh, that. I'm going to be out of town on Saturday, so I hate to miss your legislative copy, but thanks for giving us updates when the legislature is not moving. <laughs> that it gives us something about what the future might look like. I, uh, before I go back in session in December, I'll try to get with all of you at a formal meeting and give you an update because things are changing fast relative to uh, education in Ashton County and Donovan County, and I think you need to be aware of that. So, um, as of funding, or? as of funding, yes, mm -hmm. which may have some effect on you all. So, I just to bring you up to date. So. Okay, what's the best uh, way of just letting you know who is going to be who to choose? Or well, you have my cell phone number, I believe, yes, uh, I Mr. Do. Chairman. And so if you or, and I think Jack has it too, if one of you just want to text me or, or just get back with me on my cell phone, that'd be best. And we can coordinate details. And I'll just say I'll meet whoever you designate on the north side of the Capitol uh, about 115, and then we'll go into the meeting together. Uh, I'm going to be coming from Hiawatha, so I'll have to meet you there. But whoever... You decide. I'd, I'd just like to have one of you there to represent some of the issues from the state level. I've got some of the data throughout the county, but our county and anything you have about our county specifically would be very helpful. Okay. And what time did you say that meeting? One thirty. One thirty. On the on the seventeenth. Let me dress coat, jacket, and tie. <laughs> well, at least jacket and uh, and you don't have to wear a tie, but if you want to, that'd be great. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. You'd mentioned something about an announcement. What's that's about this? Or that's about that. Oh, just I didn't about the uh, town hall. Okay. On, town hall on this Saturday. Saturday. Okay. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. New business before the board. Anything? Should we go right into the Benedict College educational bonds? Come on, just step forward. Um, do you want to do it? 
Yeah, we, we have to have a public hearing. It's, uh, it's open a public hearing. It's a public speaker and then close the public hearing. At 1.10? It's set at 1 o'clock or it's been there after the hospital. So 1.10 o'clock. Yeah. It says hearing on Benedict and Coach. So what? Just, just simply announce a uh, public yeah. hearing and we'll ask okay. for comments. And okay, we are now in the hearing on addressing the educational bonds for Benedict and College. Okay. Are there any, is there anything that, I don't think there, there's anybody here, so. Okay, well, I, I didn't know if they had anything to bring forth or anything new, new information or? No? Um, I know we've had some questions there before the meeting started about the different, those three tiers. Is it has a little confusing. Those, those, those wouldn't be part of the public hearing. Those will be on the resolution, the discussion of the resolution. Okay. We just got a nice close of the hearing. Okay. Well, if there's no public input, we'll hereby close the hearing. And now the consideration of the bonds, which we set up to them. And consider the bonds. Yes. Uh, up to date resolution and then Scott and Ron from uh, the college are also here if you have any additional questions. Um, if they're going to speak, they should probably come to the. Okay, well, do you have another chair? Just pull up one. Just pull up one. Thank you. We've been doing this on key, and I guess that's sort of YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we tried to get it so people can hear, and if you're out there, they can't, can't see you or hear you. Okay. Um, one question, Pat, I uh, just wanted to clarify. He asked me before the meeting started, and um, you guys noticed that there are three series listed. Um, and so under section three of the resolution, the 2018A bonds are allowed to be deemed designated under the tax code. So uh, since the 2010 bonds were qualified, state qualified bonds, that kind of designation gets to carry forward. So the 2018As do not count towards your 2018 $10 million cash. Um, and then the Bs, the series 2018 B1 bonds, are designated for the first time. So those do count towards your 2018 $10 million cap. And then the 2018 B2 bonds are taxable. So those do not count towards your 2018 A cap either. And there's a, a summary sentence at the end of each one of those paragraphs, you know, saying if they count or if they don't count and why. And it's confusing to have the boss keep it straight and you're supposed to get right there. Um, just for the record, why don't you state who you are as for the record okay. and what who you're representing? Uh, this is Chrissy Simpson from Gilmore and Bell in Kansas City, and we serve as bond counsel to uh, the county and also to Benedict City College. This is Scott Christ, I'm uh, our special public and and I'm Ron Olinger, Chief Financial Officer of Benedict and College. Any questions? <clears throat> yeah, no, we've, we've, there's certainly nothing in here that would impose any liability on the county. I just didn't understand that. that uh, I understood. I, I didn't understand that we would be issued uh, the tax and all bonds, but uh, I'm satisfied with the response with the explanation. So, what is the total amount of tax? Does that taxable count against us? It doesn't. Does six, six million dollars. Six million. It is taxable. Is one point one. I'm saying it backwards. Yes. yes. This is not my well, the only one that does count against is the six million dollars that gives you four. Uh, that the first one on the A, it you said it basically is uh, already they're already qualified and they roll forward. Is that extending the the length 
of the bonds that are being are they being reissued here? Or? Uh, they're being refinanced. So that's the um, refinance for, for interest rate savings, I believe, and debt service payments. Um, that's why they're refinancing the 2010 bonds. We're not liking the term of the bond. No, yeah, we may have said before and after that. That's what I thought. I'm going to make sure I understand. Any questions of us? I don't have any questions. There was a bunch of numbers there. Uh, yeah. we, don't, we don't usually do an employee adopted it because so we don't have any holes if one is not adopted. So I was going to make a motion to accept this resolution number 2017-2 to be determined. The resolution authorizing Ashley County, Kansas to issue educational facilities revenue bonds on behalf of Benefit College in one or more series for the purpose of refunding certain bonds previously issued on the behalf of Benedictine College. Authorizing and approving the execution of certain documents in connection with the issuance of the bonds and authorizing certain other actions in connection with the issuance of said bonds. I'd second that motion and I'd also like to state that I agree with Commissioner Byer. I think we should have bonds in order before we know them. If you say that, not well, that way, if, if one is voted down, it's not passed, then on our list of resolutions, we have a yeah. number. So, so you want a consecutive number as you can say. how it's been done. If you want to change that, you may. And there are many places to do it. That well, way. I would amend my motion to say the next consecutive number um, would be the number of fixed ones. Do we second that? Yes, because we're, we're passing a resolution that really has that in mind. I don't, since, it's I guess not, this is, yeah, uh, this is on our end. Yeah, we'll discuss this later then. Yeah. Um, future, how, how we do that, but since it's been stated fully on tape that this is what we're passing, I'm comfortable with it. So, you know, that is, it's not going to be skipped over or anything. So, in light of that, is there any further discussion? All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass to reserve. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go get the resolution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an official copy. Of that. Yeah, just you'll need in. you'll need one with the, the number and probably get back to you. Yes, I was just meant to say the last fun part would be for Chairman Noel. I have a lot of signature pages that I brought with me, but I figured I would just wait till you guys are done with your other business, and if you have five minutes to find the. We don't have much, and our watch. other. Uh, take care. Of That's one thirty before he shows up, so oh, okay. we have time. Okay. Do I have to go over and get uh, Michelle to give you a resolution number? Sure. Do I need her to sign this too? Um, so I can check in with her before I leave. There's a few things for her to sign and a few things for her to see. Well, when you guys have to see it. Okay. And I will do that. I'll do that. We just need to do one sign, and then we'll share. Sure. Huh? It's the chairman's book. Well, but I mean, one copy, and then we will copy that, or do you want that? I have, I have a couple Oh, you do have a few things for me. Okay. Maybe you want to do a few stretching. Maybe you want to move that table there. Yeah, we can. It might be best. Yeah. Well, you're right next to it. I like supervision when I do this. Okay. You've got a big job. Okay, this will be, uh, this is the excerpt of minutes that Michelle will fill out to say that you were all here, asked three to zero. This is the resolution. They're refining, so it's um, the, the signature page packet. So we had previously sent any of these documents um, to Michelle and the staff for their review. The actual financing documents, the proposal agreement, the bond venture, 
Okay. So, I would just say, I think there's three on each, basically. I think there's three periods. I think that's easy. Okay. Where would your best one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This just looks like my signature is good at Walmart and you sign on that pad and it never. Yeah, I don't think that's really worth it. Well, we have some of them. Is that okay when I shoot on my pad? Yes, I think that's good. Thank you. Do you hear that, Jack? Mm -hmm. One four three zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trick me. I know. Carry on. Yeah. I figured we had some kids. Yeah, help yourself. I brought a bag in. Yeah. We had about 20, 25 kids. They came here earlier. They didn't come in here. They'd come out in the hall like after they kept coming down the steps, I thought, oh, my, what am I going to do if I'm short? <laughs> I didn't know that they were going to have that. Yeah, that, that just, that's just. You know, the case of the cancer. Can you go to the PUND and then it extends it? You'll go down to an hour. You're in financing. What's the best for a grandpa to put their money into a grandkid? Stock market? Or uh, that uh, tax deferred, what is it? 20? What, 29? 29 or something. Yeah. I don't want by 29 plans, but I'll say this for this. You can say that to the time period of the plan. So, because of how long you go on until they're going to be going to buy like 10 years or 15 years. Well, my oldest is 7, so it's going to be like. See, I talked to my, uh, look at that last one, the advisor, and he's three. Three. old, oh, uh, three, 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 and they, and, and, <laughs> and I put them Since it went from two to three, I'm not sure that I have. The tax compliance agreement, which is just to make sure that it's finished. He said that's more of a vantage for a parent versus a bank. They come in, they promise to comply with it, and it's a bond that you make. It's used for colleges, but for college, especially in the state. And, and what does that pay? 
three, four, two. You get, you get a dozen options. Oh, okay. So that's why I say the time period. Of course, each of these are taxable change. Change in the investment. Change in the investment. Change in the investment. So if you would do ten and do an investment that looked eleven years out, next year look ten years out, next year look nine years out. And as it gets closer, it gets safer and safer. Well, last year, what I got invested in looked very good. I have to say it's going to be approved next year. It's the assumption that we're going to see the transfer. It makes it all fall there. And then they have to agree that how much does the bond trustee actually hold the bond? Well, I don't know what college is. So it's called it's kind of seven year old. It's a short document, it's not a paragraph. It's the same, but. You know, it costs a lot right now. It costs 50, 60,000 a year. Okay. Do I need to date this? Yes, the date's the 31st. Yeah. So 1031? Yeah. Well, first they got to get through the trouble here. What cost of giving them money? That's right. Then if they get through that, then. I'll have a year or two for that. So your brother? He's getting it all. Right. <laughs> your cousin? If they go to Benedict, they'll give them half tuition. I don't know where they are. If you know that it's cheap financial options. You didn't see that in the documents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of the perks? Yeah. Time, time me up here. <laughs> Get over here. Start signing. <laughs> I'm just counting the farms. If you throw them over there, that's a farm. There's a farm. <laughs> BC is one of the brightest spots, brightest things we have, actually. What's that? BC. Oh, oh. I just wish we could retain some of them. I wish we had jobs to retain some of them. Uh, I just want to look at the county closing certificate and the state of the day of closing and specifically mm -hmm. just says everything that we agreed to that we approved the resolution that goes through today. Um, that's the family. Um, if you go out in western Kansas, you talk about BC, they'll say, huh? Mm -hmm. You go to St. Louis, talk about BC, they don't know the size of the school and half the teachers and professors. You get a lot of students from St. Louis. And these are so that you don't have to tell me all the time. Couldn't we do that at the beginning? These just are, <laughs> yeah, well, no, those are the actual bond certificates. Okay. So these, this will file with the, um, um, the county, and it's a facsimile signature affidavit. Essentially, um, um, I'm sure I don't have it. You would, you sign there, and then I will have, is Michelle a notary also? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. So we would have to sign it. Okay. Before she would actually. Is Michelle not here today? Okay. Well, we will have to wait for Michelle to have the notary in front of her. But so basically, what we'll do is we'll file this with the county. It allows us to use um, an image of your signature rather than the one that we have to get. Yeah, unfortunately, they do not let us do that for like all of these regular documents. But someday they'll all catch up to the uh, and these last two are, uh, this one is a notice of the feasance and redemption of the house. She just has to have, so she just has to see the signature. They're refinancing for 2011. So we will, uh, we will just share it now. She said they call for the bond. So if you're just going to hear go there today, she get them notarized today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll be able to get it on. Mm -hmm. She's over there. Okay, very last one is for the 2011. Um, we'll have an escrow agreement. So we, uh, they will, the funds will be deposited into an escrow. And then when the bonds are able to be called in the future, they'll be paid out of that escrow agreement. So there's not going to be any. I think you stated what time, roughly how much did you save in interest? It was quite a bit. About a million dollars. A million dollars. No, it's all mine. Another year. 
That's not fine, you know. Maybe I'm going to be the one in front of her. All I have to do is run over there and sign in front of her. Do I have time to do that? You can sign it there and then just tell her your signature and she can realize it. She's she, she said no, she's she, oh, so she normally likes to have you sign it in front of her. I can, I can just wait. walk over and do it then. Mark then we will do it. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know how loud they are, but I did this beforehand. I see that green thing. Move so I take a good look at the picture. Very Pretty well. good. Eric's done about not too well a couple times, but we may have to he put some tape on it, so we may have to do it. Yeah, he needs to replace the scotch tape with duct tape. Or bailing on it. Something had, he's used to working with. We had Joe on this morning. We should have said this is a priority next week. Get something in the glass, wood, or something. You can actually order another desk of what you had. You can do like the bottom stuff and you can get that and then you can get that one set. What is it? What is it? You can order another desk of what you had. You just use the top that matches. Kind of fresh shade that you're in there. So you can get that one set. Well, maybe that's what we need to do. Because we've been talking about this for six months. And those desks are going to so you know, if you messed up, you end up messing up a lot. Um, hopefully, it won't be messed up. Yeah, you measure it twice. Cut once, maybe yeah. twice. That's what they say. That's good. All I have to do is sign the one and turn the show. Wait for the left to the board. You know, she left that area. Yes. If, is that near why she said we could just move off the side of it? Okay. And this is 1 30. Time to uh, open bids for the general vehicle. County general vehicle. You ready? Yeah. First one will be the Equinox, which is a smaller type vehicle from Lewis Chevrolet. And theirs is $25,326.60. Get that? Yep. Foster Ford. They still book theirs in the same envelope. So we'll look at the escape first, which will be the same size as the Equinox. And it is for 24433 dollars even. Four hundred thirty-three. All right, so then you have your two larger vehicles, well, not larger, but intermediate class, um, which would be the Ford Explorer, and it was $28,180. And Lewis Chevrolet. Which would be your Traverse, same class as the Explorer. It's twenty six thousand nine twenty one. Even? Even. Excuse me. They have the gas managers. Um, Thank you. 
somewhere in there. Yes, I do. And those are really big. Really big with that Pops. I am a Ford person, but I kind of like that to go. I think you need to exercise with the gas mileage. And they are like to go to the six, nine, ten, and one. I like that vehicle too. It's it's close to the lower the smaller cars. Yeah. It's only a couple thousand more. It's um, only a thousand. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. But the uh, I don't know if a Ford Explorer is better than Equinox or some other. Well, like Explorer, I said, I'm the Ford first Explorer and the second. I just look at the 180 version. Yeah, but they're not the same, same. I mean, well, it's, uh, the same, same class. class. Same. Yeah. Excuse me, what was that? I said I'm a Ford person, but I just looked at the, let's call it 27 and call it 28. It's a thousand bucks. And we purchased a couple of cars that we have in Coke. I would I'm, probably lean Coke. Yeah, it's I know they skate. My wife has one, Pat has one. You get four people in there, you're pretty proud. Yeah. I don't know what the longest difference would be. I would say it'd be pretty negligible. I think two or three, that. maybe. I don't know. So is it something should be studied further or should we decide that? The only thing that I want to add to this, whichever, I want to let it be known that no department has 100% control over this. It didn't come, it come out of the county general budget and it's county general use. Where in the past it come out of one department and they took it, which I would too, it's kind of my vehicle. Well, this isn't the case. And we will put county of Atchison on the sides. It'll be all, it's in our policies and procedures that all county vehicles, except for I think the sheriff's investigators, have to have the county logo on the side of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would say it needs to be in the clerks or the HR office it needs to be in charge of the one of those two and they check it out. I would like the city and state to go to that office also so we don't have to call some different places. But where it come out of one department's budget, that's going to be hard to. That's why I wouldn't specify that we set this one up. Was the escape bought out of appraisers? Yes. The commission put money into the appraisers' budget, the priority of the budget for it. Okay. I think Mr. Lampy asked us to put it in budget, so we did. And then the following year, we purchased it. I believe. But it was known that that vehicle would be a county general vehicle. I was just purchasing it and buying it. That's why I said I would have to pull that one. So it's a sort it of makes sense. Well, I would love to accept the uh, good for those for the life of the service. Do you have any conversation? Do you have any conversation? Mm -hmm. Do you have any I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? I have a favor. Okay. Do we have to have to make a what department's going to be in charge of it? It's not their to it's not their vehicle, but they're in charge of it. I don't know if you're going to be in this motion. If you were to do that after after you made the motion to purchase the. And yeah, I would, I would name it a permit. Can we change the second vehicle as well? Today? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Cool. Is that something that we should bring her up and discuss? Okay. Before we just do it? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the second case. one, we just said it makes kind of sense. Just to HR being in charge of both of them. Yes, I'll definitely discuss it. Oh, no. But anyway, that's getting. Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, later. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, uh, say aye to buy the Traverse from Lewis Chevrolet in the amount of $26,929. Aye. 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 Opposed, same time. Well, I think the other thing we talked about earlier was the bookshop for next week. To discuss who yes. this one. Yes, I got I'm going to go grab a key out because I forgot to bring one. You guys just sent up so I can submit that. We have to know it's about to Okay. <clears throat>
Do you have any other questions? Do you want to see? Well, you're gonna do I, I wouldn't mind color, and you're going to do some silver. silver. So it matches the, the state. It was in the uh, bid that it was soon be silver. Yeah. That's what we're sending out. Yeah. Should we scan those and email them to you? What's that? Should we scan those and email them to you? That might be best. So there's a lot set. to go through that. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I need to look at the other three. I just was going to just double look at it. Okay. Three. Now, do you need to get a PO? Do you need to? I need to run and grab a PO. Do you, guys you need this for that? I'll bring okay. it right back here. All right. Yeah, I'll be right. I'll just through here. And... Yeah. You. Yeah. You didn't need the email back. I was just. Oh. I like it. There. So, uh, I understand. Yeah. I have this PowerPoint. Presentation of my desk and some maps. Is that for me? Or? We made a comment on that too that we didn't understand what that was for. I think somebody else is probably using the office because there was others. That's right. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. Right. Well, then, and, and maybe that was back here because they done a lot of stuff. They sh were shipping around when they put the microphones and stuff in. So it may have just been. You know, that just come about since we didn't have it. No, well, that was it. It was a little of it. I imagine that was just a laid over here when they were moving, shifting things around. Can say for our viewing audience, we do have new microphones, so if we kick them or hit them because we're not used to them. Bear with us, please. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> okay, uh, you might make a note to have Melissa come up next uh, Tuesday at the workshop. We're going to discuss the escape. Okay, uh, one thing we want to take into consideration is the maintenance, we didn't have anything in for a telephone maintenance. So, you know, there's going to be little changes and tires, and now you're paying two years. What are we going to do about that? I think that's what we should discuss. That's a good point. Yeah. Of course, yeah, the first. Just the cost of the yeah. Um, first year, won't be too much. This, a lot of that stuff is covered. But it's HR, HR to have to check for pay. County vehicles, huh? Can't get charged for tags. I thought they don't probably do. They do? do. They do? Tag charge, but you don't get the tag sign up. Yeah, it's $20. Oh. Okay. Well, is it going to be HR or is it going to be clerk? Both were suggested and I have no preference. I could invite both of them to come discuss it. Next course, one's gone on maternity leave, so. Yeah. I don't know. Of course, the vehicle isn't going to be here for a while, so she may be back before the vehicle is. I think it would more fall under the car. Wes, I did see in here it says the color has not been selected, so you might want to go through here and okay. clarify. clarify that and we'll just compare see. with what was that everything is. We were just discussing. Any advantage, disadvantage of does it go to HR, does it go to court? Either one of them works with everyone. So either one of them would be fine, I think. Well, if we have a discussion next Tuesday, then you should be here. Yeah. Um, 10 o'clock. Okay, Mr. Chairman, it's open on the 7th in the morning, so it's whatever time you would like. Okay, well, we just, we said something about Melissa. She can come up anytime she mm -hmm. chooses. But or should we, they all be here when we have this all in the same discussion? It'll be a group discussion. Okay. Okay, that's something that we're going to throw it either or with no budget for maintenance. You know, I thought County General has. What are you What are you saying? Well, the new vehicle will. Work if here. we designate that that is going to be under HR or under court, don't they have to have budget for the maintenance come out of? No, the budget. Budget, the budget will still be under County General. Okay. Or sorry, the maintenance budget will still be County General. Um, you'll just be in charge of the key and then yes. 
and go check out Shadeup Food because they get on one day on the calendar, kind of like they do with the solution. Yeah, and then anybody submitting that needed use of the vehicle needs to have it in as soon as possible. Don't yep. wait till that day or the <laughs> date and night before. It's down to tip 24. What was the dollar amount? <laughs> 26, 26, 921. 26, what? 921. And if you would, so go through and double check on the color and everything against what we had put in there to make sure that it does comply. Now, is that, uh, I don't even know, traverse, is there this class, this class, and this class? Is there an L2, which is your. Standard your base package because they have an LP1 and several above that. But the LT. Okay. Mm. Sorry, LS. LS is the bottom one. Then LP, then LP1. It says right here, LS. And today is the 31st. This vehicle has to be ordered. Yeah. Do we have a inventory like this will be vehicle number 52 for extra count? Um, yeah, we have an inventory that inventories everything, furniture, chairs, um, vehicles. It looks like, you know, oil change is performed certain date on vehicles. We don't have that. We need to have that. Like a maintenance, maintenance yeah. record. I mean, each department, I, for my vehicle, have a log of the vehicle left the building on this day, this mileage, this is where it went, this is the ending mileage, this is my department, and EMS also has that, but I don't know about what they do in store. We should have a policy. Yeah. But yes, I, I mean, my department has a log of every mile on the vehicle. <clears throat> Alright, so, I think that's just even for liability that if something that's happened to a vehicle and you yep. say it wasn't maintenance properly and you can say here yep. this is a maintenance log every 4,000 or how many miles it's been serviced it's I agree it should be left the building this many addresses this is where I went in. this is what my was going to be I don't think it needs to be even anything elaborate. Just, you know. Mine's going to sell spreadsheet. Right on, takes me 37 seconds. Who gets this? Here, I'll copy and go to the first. Okay. I'm going to scan it with the field. Okay. Who are you the only? Wes made a mention that we could get another bus for two hundred dollars, and we could do a little cutting and maybe try to do some variation on the bottom that would fit right in there. These were only two hundred bucks. Yeah, I know. So we ordered one of these, and we measured this right and cut it and set it in here. Yeah, but what's that what's about your legs and all that? How are you gonna do that? You have to use um, not an L bracket, but a small bracket for them. Screw the bottom of this and screw the bottom of that. It's not just the worst thing, but we can back that up, can't we? Can't we squeeze that? Yeah, we can. So all these points mean? That's, what, that's what's holding that thing on right there. Is, is there's four little brackets that are screwed up into here and into that. So we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can uh, unscrew that and back it up a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to get where it's not straight on the other side. Yeah, I mean, that's an option where you can do glass or you can. Well, that class was expensive. I think class no more than hundred and seven bucks. Yeah, yeah. Said, if I said mm -hmm. We could sacrifice the desk and do we need to buy another one or use that one? Uh, you don't lose this one because that's going to put this person set right in your face. Oh, you um, mean put an additional desk in between? I would put another. I know one of these. Oh, I thought you said modifying the desk and use the top. Yep. And throw the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm Sorry. fine with that. I thought you were modifying the desk to be a triangle desk. Do. Yeah, but it wouldn't be like a more. That's one thing I noticed when I was on that side, they're signing those papers. You guys look much more intimidating. <laughs> 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 
I so maybe he, we could bring him closer. We can intimidate him. I thought he was going to say uglier because he was out there. No, nice. you know, I did not. I said intimidating. It's nice with this being the back part of this because you can see all of you at once. Yes. Versus, I like the fact that you know, push come to shove, that desk could be moved to the wall if we needed that little bit. And this would stop. If we bought that piece and put it in there, this would always be put together and do it. But, I mean, with the hole we've built to the floor, it's going to be table, so you can't really move that anyway. We're not doing this much. point. Really. Yeah. So, and really, I think we've moved that desk one time for Pauline for her retirement session. Mm -hmm. That was that, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we've moved that one. We moved this one several times. Yes, yeah. we moved that one several times. But yeah. this one only, yeah, once. I think we've moved one. I can remember. So, what's is the microphone going to be set up there? Podium. Yes, we move that podium to there with the discussion, mm -hmm. um, and it'll have a wireless microphone on it, which mm -hmm. is nineteen if I don't have it over there. No, there's, there's a microphone there. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, that they will be in the view of the camera. Correct. Yeah. 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 So don't you set the platform right about here? That's yeah. a little bit of an edge of you. Yeah. I mean, I can zoom that out a little bit. The only thing that I would suggest would be have a glass top made for that. So like when clean person comes in, she's, he or she starts wiping it off. Those yeah, buttons don't all get to move everything. Moved everything around. Yeah. We have no idea where she goes. Or even like a, a cape. I don't know. Or yeah, a piece of material with a, with a note on it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll look into off the bar for that. It probably makes it a little right over there. <clears throat> a bonnet. The reason we had planned it down to the wall, so it was going to be on the wall. Um, so we had wall mounted brackets on it. So there's not a shelf in that desk that we could put it down behind. Mm -hmm. A little kid would love to get a hold of all oh, those buttons. Oh, yeah. Well, they will. They will. Well, eventually, some kid will come in. Hopefully, there's no kids back in there. Maybe yeah. some big kids, too. If they could get moved, but it won't be. Just by cleaning or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You all have a great day. You too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if not, you know, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pat, you had a, did you have a chance to look over that form from Melissa? Yeah. And I took a look at the statute. There's a, it doesn't need to be uh, approved by you at all. In fact, if somebody wanted to put it in a different format, they were allowed to do that. So, okay. Um, but this looks like it has everything in there that the statute uh, requires, which is KSA 79 1613. Uh, so, okay. So, I might, I might just give it back, or do you need that? Oh, sure. I might take it down and tell her that we've approved. I mean, well, it is a form. Well, it's past what time. I wanted to make sure that it was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, any older unfinished business? The only thing that I was going to ask you guys to think about it, I mean, uh, advisory board, they need to be reappointed again to go to the house or ambulance. I was, uh, I was thinking about that and I didn't know yet whether he had asked if they chose to meet or not. Um, not so that's kind of what I was wondering. So do you want me to uh, text or email us and see what he thought about that? I mean, because we can do it next week. Probably should. Sure. Any other old or unfinished business? Not county councilor updates? Well, I, I don't have much. We uh, went through the contract with weight, uh, with hams for the solid waste uh, following and I made some suggestions for uh, improvement of what they had. And uh, I think we'll probably have that for you next week.
Do you need an executive session for any reason? No boring. Any other business that I'm missing? I uh, move to uh, adjourn. Yeah. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Vote opposed. Well, we do do to make sure our press release got somebody. Yeah, I need to call in. I fear that's my call.